Hi everyone. Welcome to MGS Coaching Football. Coach Sullivan here and uh, this past fall I completed my 39th year coaching in 2021 and I hope your season was successful as ours was. Today in this presentation I'd like to talk to you about one of our package plugs that we call Lasso Baxter. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to take two separate plug blitzes, combine and execute them both at the same time. Okay, so what I have over here is the our, excuse me, the key terms so you can better understand how to how we and how you can execute Lasso Baxter. And then here I'm going to diagram it for you versus 11 personnel. Okay, so first key term package plug, right? What is it? In this particular instance, we're combining an outside linebacker plug with an inside linebacker plug, and we're going to execute them together at the same time. So how's that possible, right? Well, before I go any further with the key terms, you have to go through starting with what you name your players, what your alignment rules are, you know, have you, have you simplified them, streamlined the process to allow your kids to play faster mentally, right? We always say play fast. Here, you play faster with your feet, right? And then you got to go through your uh, blitz inventory and see what it is you have that you can, in fact, package together, right? Combine. So if you before again, I get back to the key terms. None of our 11 defenders have the same name. And in two cases where they have the first letters the same, FC, field corner, FS, free safety, right? Different names. So that's how we start. Everybody has a different name. And then from there, we streamline or simplify the process to get everybody lined up. And, and at the same time, we're, we're maximizing the, the personnel that we have. Okay. So back to the key terms. Lasso Baxter itself, right? The first name, Lasso, is a dime plug. So the lucky Ringo goes to the dime for that reason, okay? There's the dime, right? Lucky. Lucky triggers a Louie call. Louie is for the safety. So they spin together and they spin in the correct direction. All right, and I'll go over all of that when I get to the diagram portion. So in Lasso, the dime plugs B-gap. In this case, the Baxter has the backer plugging the opposite A-gap. And then the defensive end call side, slant C gap, the nose, which I'm going to get to in a second, slants A to the call. See, in the 3 4, the nose is the only defender who's a part of both sides, right? Zero tech on the center. So, a big part when you go through your drill inventory and everything I already mentioned, you got to plug, um, excuse me, combine plugs together that does not put your nose in conflict. So the one move the nose makes, he's right on both plugs. Okay, so I'll show you that when I get to the diagram shortly. The third key term here is, I know I'm showing it to you versus 11, but it's good versus all personnel groups. 10, 11, 12, 20, 21, 20. We've run them versus all. Some more than others, and it obviously depends on your opponent and their tendencies and so forth. But it has been uh, used against all personnel groups. And then the number four term, it's good versus run. It's good versus pass. It's good versus zone read, power read, RPO. Okay, it's been good versus just straight ISO play. Okay, a different way to attack the blocking scheme. So it's a versatile package plug, and now I'd like to bring it to life for you over here. So as we look at it, right, we've got 11 gun Dallas offset, and when the back offsets, our built in vernacular is east and west. If the back lines up to the left, as we look at it, it's west. If the back were over here to the right of the quarterback, as we're looking at it, it would be east, right? The two coasts. That's the only time we use the term east or west. So this is a west, okay? The pass strength is a Liz. The tight end is on the right, so that simply is a right call. Okay, you have to go to my playlists. This would be the base front playlist to get all of that information. So if you're not a subscriber, please push the button. Okay, it's all on there. So the dime makes the lucky call, which triggers the Louie call. 
Okay, here's the big thing. Our alignments are disguised, and we're not going to tip our hand by rotating before the snap. When the ball is snapped, the safeties will spin, okay? So here it's going to be a Louis, so that means the free safety is sky, 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 right? He's got force on the run, hot on number two in the pass. So when the ball is snapped, he'll screw down the line of scrimmage, reading the surface keys as he goes. If it's run, he knows he has force. If it's pass, he knows he's hot on two. So the coverage here is one of our zone blitz coverages we call trio. I'm not going to get into any specifics. Again, you have to see the zone blitz coverage playlist to get the specifics, but we're in trio. Consequently, the whip, Louis, 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 spins left, also reading his surface. If it's run, he'll stick his foot in the ground and fit in where needed. If it's pass, right, so he's got the high hats, he's in the middle third. Okay, corners are both hot on one. The rover, our outside linebacker on the tight end side, orbit, he's got force because the safety's leaving, potentially leaving, and he's hot on the tight end, who's number two, right? Tight end two. Mike linebacker, who's not involved in the pressure, has running back on pass, okay? So now let's get to this, the blitz itself. Lucky, lucky, lucky. We have our outside linebacker blitz from depth. So he's going to blitz from alignment. We don't hedge or move them. That would trigger alerts from the wide receivers, and they have a plan in place to take care of your blitz. Right? So we don't want to help them. And not to mention, this, if we don't have somebody who's who fits the mold in terms of speed, size, then more often than not, this is a fifth defensive back anyway. Okay, remember, this is versus 11 personnel. So, plug B gap from depth there. Defensive end call side, slant C, nose. Here's Lucky, so he knows he's slanting left, right? So that's the lasso. The Baxter, there it is. And guess what the nose does on Baxter? He does that. So that's what I mean when I say you got to find two plugs that when you put them together, it doesn't put your nose in conflict. Okay, so that is our package plug that we call Lasso Baxter. Baxter, And since Lasso's first, the dime makes the lucky Ringo call. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, thank you for watching MGS Coaching Football. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com because I would love to talk football.